Admiral T. Arch stands at the foot of the mall at Trafalgar Square. In this suitably nautical location is Captain James Cook by the Victorian sculptor Sir Thomas Brock. Twelve thousand miles away in Melbourne, Australia, a country forever linked to Cook's name, stands a more youthful James Cook. He stands in the garden of what was once his father's Yorkshire home, the cottage being brought in on Cook's honour to Melbourne in 1934. At 15, Cook was apprenticed in Whitby to work on coal ships. In 1755 he joined the Royal Navy and four years later was master of his ship. He sailed to Canada and up the St Lawrence River and later led surveying missions on the coast of Labrador, Newfoundland and Nova Scotia. In 1768 the Royal Society commissioned Cook to lead a voyage to Tahiti to establish an astronomical observatory. He was accompanied by several botanists, including Sir Joseph Banks. In 1770, he arrived in the unknown land in the south, New Holland, now known as Australia. Cook explored and mapped the eastern coast of Australia and took possession of it for England, naming it New South Wales. On his second voyage in 1772, he established that no southern continent other than New Holland or Australia existed, and he also charted the coast of New Zealand. By controlling his crew's diet, he was able to do away with outbreaks of scurvy an illness which afflicted sailors at that time. He was an excellent navigator and astronomer and produced accurate and detailed charts of the coastline which he surveyed. Repairs to his ship, the Endeavour, were undertaken at this time. After this successful expedition to the South Pacific, he was elected to the Royal Society. During his third voyage in 1776, he charted the Pacific coast of North America up to the Arctic regions. He circumnavigated New Zealand and discovered the Hawaiian Islands. Upon going ashore at Hawaii, Cook was accepted as a Polynesian god. But later the natives were hostile. Cook was overwhelmed during a scuffle with the natives over a stolen boat and stabbed to death. In 1785, Cook was posthumously granted a coat of arms. Captain James Cook was one of the world's greatest navigators and conducted all of his explorations in a peaceful fashion. From lowly beginnings in Yorkshire, he mapped and made known to the 18th century world the Pacific Ocean and the various lands and peoples therein.